what's going on guys so in this video um i decided i would get probably a couple videos done today maybe even a live sesh later tonight but i want to talk about the fact that <laughs> i want to talk about the fact that modern pokemon is amazing it really is like pokemon is doing too much okay i made a video on that that i still stand by that fact they're doing too much it's too much but it doesn't take away from the fun of trying to catch them all. Now, you can do this if you're keeping up with Modern and just opening a booster box or two, and you can probably get most of everything that you need. In my case, I sorted, I spent the past five days, I have not gone to the gym, I've been working, and I've been sorting out Pokemon cards. That is literally all I've been doing the past five days. Working, late night shifts, going in during the day, managing the bar, doing payroll, doing inventory, all that crap. And then with the spare time that I have, spend a little bit of time with my family, put food down my gullet, and sort Pokemon cards. I'm not even kidding right now. I have spent, my wife can confirm this, I have spent late nights, like some nights up till 3 a.m., 5 a.m., 4 a.m., sorting Pokemon cards trying to go back on all the modern cards that I pulled in the past two years and making binders with them. It's true. So what I have here is actually kind of a special treat. Um, it's definitely different than what I typically do. I am a vintage Pokemon head. I'm a nut for vintage stuff, um, especially theme decks. I've said this before too many times. I gotta stop saying it. But what I have here is very different. So I went back and I still have a lot of work to do, but I went back and I started sorting every single set that I've opened on camera, off camera, just in general. I have a stack this big of Fusion Strike. I have a stack this big for Chilling Rain, a stack this big for um, Evolving Skies, I have two stacks about this big. I opened a lot of Evolving Skies. I didn't even realize I had this much product. I had a whole case, the whole booster box case lined with Brilliant Stars. I, I, I was not kidding about Brilliant Stars. I have opened way too much Brilliant Stars and my binder for Brilliant Stars will show that. Um, and then Astral Radiance and Lost Origin, I had some stuff from and most of it was gifted to me because I really didn't open that those sets at all. In fact, I didn't open a single booster box of Astral or Lost Origin. I was so busy chasing cards that I wanted, you know, chasing old vintage stuff that I really just completely missed out on those sets. And it wasn't that I didn't want to open it. I just had to make choices on do I want vintage stuff for my for my kind of my personal collection favorites or do I want to get sucked into going retail and opening all these products that are from you know GameStop and Walmart and whatever and now I buy from a shop uh, rally squirrel sports cards here in Charlotte North Carolina now I'll be buying from them as much as I possibly can um, they've hooked me up with two cases of Pikachu boxes if I can, I'll pull this up here. I'm going to set this on my binders. You guys should be able to make that out pretty easily. Um, but yeah, they've been hooking me up. So I'll be able to open some Crown Zenith. I might do a live stream uh, tonight. But I still want to get a mystery mail day video done as well. So be on the lookout for that. It just depends on how quickly we can upload all this stuff. Uh, if you don't YouTube, you don't understand the struggle of uploads. The upload process takes forever. Um, okay, let's go ahead and get into this because we're four minutes in. So what I did was I opened a lot of Crown Zenith. I opened a lot of Evolving Skies, a lot of Brilliant Stars, Fusion Strike, um, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, um, Chilling Rain. I have some Pokemon Go stuff, but not enough. Anyways, these are the binders that I've done so far. I've ordered five more binders. This one's the only red one because honestly, I prefer the just the black simple binder. These are card guard binders. Card guard binders off of Amazon. No, I'm not sponsored by them. No, they're not giving me free crap. Um, I wish they would because honestly, I'm gonna need a lot of binders. Um, binders are great. Here's why. One, you would not imagine. I have a stack of top loaders now up to here because now I'm using binders. Binders will save you. And these binders are honestly great. They sit really flat. Um, 
Honestly, honestly, like I love this binder. I love this new setup with binders. I love that it's just slightly curved and it sits for the most part flat. The only thing that I do when I'm stacking my binders is I want them stacked so that they compress the cards. Um, quite frankly, I don't care if the cards warp a little bit, um, but it's important to me to not have them upright because over time um, they, you know, I don't know actually, it probably makes more sense to have these kind of binders upright like this might start storing my binders upright. I only store them flat on each other because it's easy to just stack them. And I figured that maybe the cards will flatten and they'll compress, but maybe that's not good because that might warp your cards. So maybe you want to store these like this. Anyways, let's get into it. This is Crown Zenith and we have a long way to go. I have the Raikou um, and the uh, Entei as well, but those are in card, mag card protector magnets above me. Um, this is primarily just stuff that I wanted to put in the binder. If I had duplicates of it and it was a, it was a really nice Galarian gallery, I put it in the binder. Um, so let's get into it. Um, this is, oh, this is the first page. Um, you might hear Aspen in the background. Um, she's just doing her thing. Um, now granted, we haven't opened enough Crown Zenith. We've only opened a couple boxes of Crown Zenith, maybe five or six. And this is what we've pulled so far. And this is why, honestly, I love modern. Modern Pokemon is amazing because, honestly, for the price point that you can get into it, stop expecting that you're going to have master sets. Throw that, throw the entire master set notion out of the window. Throw the master set notion out of the window because you are not going to be completing master sets. Completing master sets is too difficult. It takes too long. You're going to be spending out the butt for cards or opening product. So forget that notion entirely. If you can forget the notion of completing master sets, then, and only then, can you truly enjoy modern. Because modern is actually a lot of fun if you binder it. Honestly, it's so like fulfilling to fill in these spaces. And I know I've already done this with vintage sets. Right now, I've completed most of the Wizards of the Coast era, which is 1999 to 2004. Now, I'm working on completing, aside from Base Set 2 and Legendary Collection, because those two vintage sets are really more or less reprints, and I just don't feel like they deserve you know, a spot, even though I think that they're both amazing. Legendary Collection is amazing. Base 2 is amazing. Anyways, moving forward... Um, no, we did not complete anything, but we've only opened a couple of products of Crown Zenith and we will be opening a lot more, but honestly, for a couple of products, this is pretty good. This is about how much you would see a binder filled up if you bought two booster boxes of a normal set. Um, the issue is with these miniature expansion sets, uh, usually they're harder to complete, uh, because you're buying all these smaller products and that price really adds up quickly. Um, I wish they had booster boxes for these mini sets, but it is what it is. Pokemon Go, Celebrations, Shining Fates, Hidden Fates, whatever you want to call it. Um, if there was a mini expansion for it, um, it was kind of hard to fill those sets up. Um, now, they're smaller sets, so it's really objective, right? Because if it's a smaller set, it's easier to fill up. But at the same time, if you're buying several products and you end up spending 300 on smaller products and you still don't have it completed that kind of sucks if it's a set that only has 20 30 40 50 cards in it like these mini expansion sets i think at one point i will end up completing the miniature expansions as well but right now i'm focusing on main sets for the watsi ex series so we completed watsi nearly we have a lot of sky ridge expedition and aquapolis to go over um, and then we got into EX series and I spent a whole week bindering all the bulk that I had, all the hollows that I had for EX series. So now we're up at about 2008. We're at the beginning of 2008. And at the same time, I decided after all that bindering, after all those hours, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to backwards binder collect all the sets that I've opened from sword and shield. I have all the sword and shield booster boxes or booster packs but I have all the booster boxes as well, except for Rebel Clash. I still need to get Rebel Clash. It's not an expensive booster box. I can bid on one of those and probably win them semi-easily. Um, but anyways, moving forward, um, now I've decided I also want to binder every set. And if I master collect them, great. If not, so what? But the whole point of this video is to show you guys that actually 
maybe I was wrong about modern all along and maybe I just the key to it was binder collecting and seeing that sense of completion that it's not about the cards you pull it's about kind of getting your sets and your 80 percent 70 percent complete and we pretty much did that with every single set so I'm going to go over those now so we've got this one uh here this is crown zenith uh actually no it's not crown zenith where is my crown zenith um where is crown zenith is crown zenith this is the next one sorry guys i'm trying to keep up with this even though the reality is maybe i nope that's lost origin maybe crown zenith is, is at the bottom okay let's see if it turns out that i've lost my crown zenith binder okay okay yes Woo! that was the lucky one all right crown zenith here we go nope wrong side all right, Crown Zenith, here we go. All right, so all of the grass types I've completed. Now, none of these are hollow. None of these are valuable. We've got a reverse gloom right there at the top middle. But like, it feels good to see that first binder sleeve finished. And honestly, the completionism, the fact that I'm like really OCD and a completionist makes modern Pokemon really fantastic for me personally. All right, so the next page, I'm missing a couple. I'm missing five there. I'm missing some fire types. We got the Simisir V, which I, honestly, when I pulled the Simisir V, I was not all that happy to have pulled that card. And honestly, now, now that I was filling these binders, I realized quickly, every single card you pull is going to be valuable because you're going to need it to complete your master set. And basically at the end of finishing these up, what I had left was like a small stack of cards from all of these cards, most of them you are going to use to fill initially for your for your binder collection. Um, moving forward, we've got a reverse Volcanion. Moving forward, we have everything except this one right here. Uh, we've got the Kyogre V right here. We've got a reverse Shinx, Luxio, and Luxray. There's a lot of there's a lot of those cards. Wow, we have we have five cards right there just of that. Just at that Pokemon. Uh, then on this side, we've got the Radiant Charger Bug right there. Y'all can see the Radiant Shining. I think the Radiants were a really good addition, honestly. They really give a nice pop and a difference uh, from the Vs. Uh, so we've got a rate. We've got a uh, Reverse Amolgo, Reverse Zora Aura. Uh, we've got some stuff missing here. But again, guys, I had so much fun bindering these sets that honestly, I'm like, I'm like a uh, what do you call that? Uh, a convert. I'm a convert. Now I'm like seeing that modern is actually really enjoyable if you organize it. Because in 10, 20 years, you're going to look back at these sets and you're going to be like, wow, I actually organized these sets. And at the very least, you'll create the bones for your sets. And then later on the road, when you buy someone's collection locally or whatever, and, and you buy a bunch of cars and you have a bunch of modern bulk, you might actually be able to fill in these binders later on. So that's kind of my reasoning that maybe I won't open these cards to pull these cards, but maybe I'll find them down the road. So it's important to just see what I have, fill it out, organize everything. Organize, organize, organize. So we've organized everything over here. We have our fighting. We have the last of the psychic types. We've got Tapu Lele Hollow, which I wasn't happy to pull this but seeing it in the binder makes me happy. We got like a million Enamorous. We got so many Enamorous. Uh, we got a crap load of Enamorous and Reverses. We got the Dark Types here. You can hear Aspen in the background. She is not happy right now, uh, so just bear with me. Um, on this side, my favorite types of these Steel Types are honestly uh, Scizor. Scizor is probably my favorite Steel Type right here. Um, I'm gonna bring that closer to you guys. Maybe it'll zoom in. Maybe it won't, but I just think that that scissor looks really, really cool. Um, we've got some more steel types over here. And over here, we got Zacian and Zamazenta. And then, whew, wow, we have a long way to go, 14 minutes in. Um, we got the Rayquaza VMAX, the Radiant Eternatus, uh, the Ditto, the EVV, um, the Regigigas V-Star. We got a lot of stuff right here. We got a lot of stuff right here. Appreciate it. Um, over here, we've got the uh, Greedent V, 
And then we start our trainer journey. We've got these signed trainer cards down here from Crown Zenith. Um, and then we've got some blanks and that's gonna happen. You're gonna see that I've got a trainer gallery here. I've got some trainer galleries here. I've got some more trainer galleries right here. Um, and uh, I've got Suicune right here. One of my one of my many Suicunes I ordered. I still have not pulled a single Suicune card. I did pull this Deoxys VMAX. I pulled two of those, so that was pretty cool. Over here, I pulled the Drapion. I pulled the Samurai, and I pulled the Zamazenta uh, Galarian Galleries. So we've got those. The uh, Arita uh, Trainer card, we've got that in our secrets. And then, um, so I actually don't know if, I didn't do this with the rest of my sets because it took too much time, but uh, we got our gold card. I actually got two of these, so that's one of them. We've got our promos in this row, our promos in this row. And then I just did a little thing. We had the promos come out to here. Um, and then I just filled the rest with the pack arts. Um, I think that that's actually one of my proudest things is just having the pack arts there. Because it's a simple little thing that's a good identifier for the end of a set when you get to that point. And then we've got a couple more sleeves here. In the future, if I find a bunch of Crown Zenith cards, I can put them in those additional sets just as duplicates and other rare cards. Since you don't want to stack too many cards in the same sleeves. Um, but that's Crown. Moving forward, we had Silver Tempest. Let's get into it. So we had this many green ones. We were missing two of the grass type. We had the Superior V right here. Um, then on this sleeve, uh, we had a Radiant uh, Tsarina, and we actually pulled that one on the channel. We're missing one. Um, I pulled a good bit of Silver Tempest, so I would expect to have most of this binder complete. We haven't got into Crown Zenith in the same sense as Silver Tempest and Brilliant Stars um, and Evolving Skies. But uh, over here, uh, we've got the Arcanine. He looks phenomenal right there. We've got the Ponyta, the, the Holographic Rapidash, which we pulled that on the channel. Uh, Reshiram V, uh, breaks in, uh, reverse. Um, and then over here, we're pretty barren for the last of these ones. I don't know if those are water types. Um, we've got Whale Lord here. There's actually another Whale Lord that I found in my polls, and I actually had yet to put it in here, so I actually still have to do that. Uh, this Whale Lord, I did not put him in there yet. Um, he is missing, let's see, what numbers him? And this is exactly what I'm talking about. 32, um, let's see, and the Vulpix is 33. So actually, he is going in right here. This is exactly what I was talking about. It's just super fulfilling to fill these cards out. So we're missing a couple there. We got Glalie, he looks great. You can also appreciate all of the commons and uncommons in a way that you wouldn't have otherwise. Um, let's go over here. Oh, we've got a whole sleeve. We've got a whole page. Um, we've got the Raichu and the Pikachu, which are kind of my favorites from Silver Tempest. Honestly, I love Raichu and Pikachu almost nearly as much as I love uh, Charizard. Um, then over here, we have the Regilecki VMAX. We pulled that on the channel. Uh, we have the Radiant. I'm going to try and get that to pop off. There we go. We have the Radiant Alakazam that looks really, really nice. So happy that I pulled that card. Um, and then, yeah, nothing too crazy there. The Regilecki was, was super dope. We have an Unknown V right here. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. We have a Mawile V Store at the bottom. We're missing three there. We've got a couple here. And we've got the Hollow uh, Runiclus. See if I can get that to. Uh, pop off a little bit okay we've got a completed page there over here we're missing one um over here this armaldo looks sick i'm actually gonna show that real quick that's a great artwork of armaldo um i'm assuming that that's a hollow and i just don't have it um but i'd really like to get a hollow armaldo honestly we've got dom fan he looks great claydol looks great we've got um, a lot of the dark types right here, and we've got this Crobat, which I was super happy to pull this Crobat. Crobat is a fantastic looking Pokemon, um, especially this uh, artwork. This artwork is more of a hand-drawn artwork. Um, I can't even see the screen, but I assume that it's a pretty good close-up. Um, and then this Crocodile, uh, we pulled him as well. That's the hollow right there. And um, let's see, over here... We got the Metagross and the Radiant Jirachi. See, I definitely wasn't too happy with my Silver Tempest pulls, 
But now that I'm showing my binder set, I'm like really happy with it. The Metagross Hollow and the Jirachi Radiant, like most of these we got out of a single booster box. I would say that the booster box now, if you're trying to binder everything, is the way to go. I think if you're trying to just pull that chase card for the lowest cost, I really think random pack pulls honestly might get you that card for the lowest cost. Um, we've got a Dragonite right here, which is really cool. We've been talking a lot about Dragonite lately, so it's really cool to have a mint condition Dragonite. Um, over here, we've got the Colorless Energy, which is pretty packed out, but we're missing four over here. We've got the Ho-Oh V, though. The V cards are going to be harder to pull than the regular uh, commons and uncommons, so we're pretty happy about that. We've got the Trainers almost filled up. We're missing one, um, and then we're missing out most of our uh, secrets. We've got Lance right here. We've got a Lance secret rare. We've got uh, Furious Sewed Girl, which actually is an amazing... Um, rainbow rare. This rainbow rare is really, really nice. Um, in fact, this rainbow rare I'm going to put up close because I really do like this rainbow rare girl. Fura so girl. Um, we've got the Galarian Gallery, the Trainer Gallery afterwards. We've got a Breaks In and a uh, Gardevoir. Back here we've got the Schmeargle. Um, I still need to give this card to my mom. Uh, my mom's a professional painter, so I feel like the Schmeargle would be dope. And then we've got Judge back here. And then I did the same thing I did with Crown Zenith, actually. I put all these artworks right here of all of the packs. I think that it looks pretty nice in a binder and helps just, just make use of those last sleeves. And then again, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six extra sleeves um, for extra duplicates of valuable rare cards. I know as these sets move forward, I have a lot of cards above me right now that are that are rare and valuable up there. Um, but honestly, for the most part, um, when I when when we move forward with these sets, um, I'm most likely going to uh, replace a lot of those cards um, and put them in binders and replace them with the newest cards that have come out. Um, just to remind me that hey, you've had good luck. Don't complain. Um, over here, we've got. Um, Lost Origin. Now, Lost Origin, I didn't open at all. I, I don't even open. I, I don't even think I opened, but like maybe two packs. These were actually all from my local sports card shop that lent me their um, bulk cards. They basically let me go in and grab everything I needed to fill in for the most part. Um, I really don't have anything from Astro, but we'll go through it. Um, I'm missing a couple from the grass types. Um, on both pages, I'm missing a couple from the grass types. Missing two of those fire types. But it's still cool because I didn't even open the set and they were able to lend me most of everything. Um, not lend, they were able to gift me pretty much most of everything that I needed to complete the set, which I think is pretty cool. And I wanted to take advantage of it considering the fact that shops really aren't doing that. You're not, you don't ever get free bulk. And I don't know if that's for everybody or just me, um, but I was pretty happy about it. Here we've got the Pikachu, the Raichu, which were probably the most important to me to get free because honestly, those are phenomenal. Um, we've got a reverse Stunfish right there, but we're missing a lot of stuff here. But still, uh, someone gifted me this Radiant Gardevoir a while ago and I didn't know what to do with it. So we filled that in. We're missing a lot of Psychic. Oh, we actually have a decent amount of the Fighter types. We have a decent amount there, so five missing there. Five missing here as well. Five, six. So we're missing a lot of stuff, but the whole point of this video is to talk about the fact that Modern is amazing because you don't really have to pull all that much, but you can still binder this stuff and have it organized and look back and say like, wow, those that's, that's everything that I collected from those eras. And it's already organized. And if you need to build on it, you can. There's no one telling you that you're not going to be able to build on any of these uh, collections. But um, I just think it's really cool that I took the time and bindered all of these, despite the fact that some of them I didn't even have that many of. Um, this is Astral Radiance, um, and I love this Heracross right here. The Heracross from Astral Radiance is great. Um, we're missing a lot from Astral Radiance, maybe even more than Lost Origin. But again, these were all free. These were all given to me. So honestly, I can't complain um, I can fill in the rest as I go moving on, uh, but it's still nice to have all this stuff organized just as the structure is the bones of this collection. And then 
as we go, who knows, maybe I'll buy a couple of booster boxes of these sets and we can open them um, on the channel and we can see if we can actually complete these binders a little bit better. Um, we have this Jirachi V right here that was also gifted to me. So basically this whole binder was pretty much, um, oh, we've got, uh, is that it? Yeah, and I forgot to show the Lost Origin Mew, but whatever. Um, we've got these trainer galleries. These were these were gifted to me as well. Um, and then the Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, that was gifted to me as well. And I think that's everything, yeah. So not much going on with this set, but you know, I'm just giving you guys the update on what I've been doing. I know you guys have probably been wondering what I've been up to. Uh, this is what I've been up to, bindering all these sets, which, okay, here we are. Is this Brilliant Stars? All right, this is Brilliant Stars. Now let me tell you right now, look how thick, look how thick this boy is. I opened a crap load of Brilliant Stars, so this is by far my best modern set binder. Let's get into it. Okay, boom, we got the first one complete. We've got Torterra on the bottom. We've got the whole evolution chain there. Um, and we've got duplicates, we've got a lot of duplicates. Um, boom. We've got everything down here but two. We've got the Charizard V right here. Um, we've got the Entei V over here. We've got the Infernape over here, Hollow, the Moltres Hollow. We've got duplicates of those. We've got a lot of stuff from Brilliant Stars. And we've got duplicates. This is a heavy binder for sure. We've got the Kingler V, the Empoleon Hollow, the Luminion Hollow. We got the Raichu V. Uh, we got hella reverses. We've got so many reverses here. Um, Raikou V, uh, let's see, we got the Mewtwo non-hollow, even though I really want that Mew in a hollow still. Um, uh, Dustnor hollow, here we're going over, we got Whimsicott V, Mimikyu V Max, Mimikyu V, Lucario hollow, uh, we've pretty much got, like, most everything. The, my Brilliant Stars binder is, like, pretty sorted out for the most part. Um, more Peko V, Agron V Max, I pulled this card, I was super happy about that. Um, I, I mean, I pulled all of these, but let's see. Zamazenta V, Flygon V, I got two of those. Dracovish V, Garchomp, I have like 50 Garchomps. Um, Arceus V, that one was gifted to me. Drampa V, we've got all the trainers pretty much. Shaman V, we've got our full art Shaman V. Okay, and we've actually got some full arts here. We've got a Raichu V right here. We've got a Gramble V right here. We've got Whimsicott V right here. I've got two of those. Um, Flygon V up here. Uh, Barry and Cynthia's Ambition at the bottom. And I think Cynthia's Ambition was a good one. Not entirely sure if I remember correctly. Uh, we've got Kindler, Roxanne's backup. And we've got the beginning of our trainer gallery with Flareon right there. So we've got Flareon at the bottom here. And then here we have more of our trainer galleries, which were really, really good from Brilliant Stars. Honestly, Octillery, Jolteon, Zekrom, Dusnor, um, Alcrami, uh, Ariados, Houndoom, uh, Eevee, Oranguru, Urshifu, Mimikyu V. Um, it's a lot of really great uh, trainer galleries. Ooh, this is probably my favorite. I thought this card was going to be worth so much more money when I pulled it. I was really happy that I pulled it, but honestly, like, honestly, you can't complain. If you pull an Umbreon, you can't complain. Uh, we got the Umbreon VMAX, the uh, Rapid Strike Mustard, and Urshifu VMAX, which a lot of people pulled this gold card right here. Um, and I think that is it. That's it as far as Brilliant Stars goes. And I really like how these just have this kind of, this elastic band right there. And let's get into this last set right here. But this video, this is why Modern's great. Modern is amazing because you really don't have to open too much product to start a binder and get a good bones for your collection, get a good foundation. Um, so this is Fusion Strike. This is where I'm at. Um, on Tuesday, five more of these card guard binders are going to get here. So on Tuesday, I'm going to start on Evolving Skies, Darkness Ablaze, Vivid Voltage, Chilling Rain. Um, I know there's Battle Styles I have some cards of, and then Sword and Shield Base. 
I have some cards of. Um, so I'm gonna have to order more binders regardless. But uh, yeah, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're we're going backwards from 2023 all the way to 1999. I guess in this case 2008 because that's where I stopped. But I even have a lot of the cards up to from like 2008 to 2011, 2012. So honestly, I feel like I have about 10 years to cover. Maybe eight or nine years to cover. So I have a lot of sets to still cover, but I plan on just buying these cheaper binders and just going after it. Uh, I'm not going to be buying fancy binders anymore because the EX series is really the last series that I find worth it. Vintage deserves to be in a nice leather thick binder. Um, whereas these, honestly, the modern stuff, I like these binders. I trust them for 15 bucks, whatever. Um, I can order it to my door. Um, but anyways... This is Fusion Strike, so we're missing a couple there, we're missing one there, we're missing two. We've got Sarina V, Rillaboom V. This Arcanine, I have to show this Arcanine. Honestly, the Fusion Strike Arcanine is phenomenal. This Arcanine is phenomenal. Um, I believe that's a reverse. It's a reverse, it's not showing very well. It's a reverse, but it's not showing very well. There we go. So I really like the fire section right here. Uh, you've got the nine tails and the Arcanine. Over here we've got uh, Simiseer Reverse, Chandelier VMAX, uh, Cinderace VMAX. Um, over here Lapras Reverse, Starmie. Some of these hollows, like, dude, Fusion Strike is super underrated. The hollows in Fusion Strike are actually really, really good. So yeah, Fusion Strike definitely should have been loved a little bit more. We've got for alligator up here for my OG Gen 2 fans. Get that on some light. There we go. So it looks really, really good when you bind this up. And Fusion Strike had those kind of like old school vibes. I was feeling Fusion Strike. Um, let's go through here. We got, uh, oh, we got Swamper. There's like actually stuff for me that I want to show you guys that makes it worthwhile to try and go after the set. We got Swampert right here now i'm surprised usually these are in order so i'm surprised i wonder if marsh top was behind the swamper yes so mudkip and marsh top were right here and so everything everything in this set for the most part follows a, a a chronological pattern of like the actual energy type and the pokemon evolution so if you if you have one pokemon bindered that has an evolution, most likely you'll be able to find the other Pokemon. I'm sorry. We luckily got one of the puppies that's here adopted. So now there's only five dogs in the house, but it still gets kind of busy sometimes. Um, we're missing a lot over here, but we have the Inteleon. Um, over here, we're only missing two. So that looks really good for Fusion Strike. Um, I opened a lot of Fusion Strike, so I'm surprised I'm even missing this many. Uh, we got three right here. We have two of the Boltund. Uh, v Max cards. Um, we're missing a couple of these. Oh, we got a full page here. Um, Dragapult, Hollow. I'm guessing I'm missing probably V Maxes. Typically, there's like one slot in each sleeve for a V Max, and the V Maxes are harder to pull. Um, over here, we've got uh, Steelix. I'm a huge fan of Steelix. I really thought that the Fusion Strike artworks just brought it. I think they're really, really good. That Steelix just looks phenomenal. And Steelix looks really, really good. Um, honestly, I don't remember talking about the Butterfree. Where's my damn Butterfree? Oh, okay. So here's Butterfree. I didn't show you guys the Butterfree in Fusion Strike, but it looks really, really good. That Butterfree is popping off. Okay, we got Lucario V right here. Okay, we got good old Hariyama down here. Tyranitar V, Obstagoon. Okay, this Absol, is that even a rare? Yes, okay, ding. That means that's most likely a hollow, and I just don't have it. I really, really want this Absol right here. This this artwork is phenomenal. I mean, seriously, phenomenal. Let's. I'm actually gonna zoom the camera in to this artwork right here. This Absol artwork right here is really, really good. I mean, seriously, that's a really good looking card. That's a card that I think would age really, really well. Honestly, the Sharpedo, too, looks really sick. But, um, all right. Now that I'm going to push all the other cards off the table, let's reorganize that. 
Okay. Boop. Okay. Um, let's see, dark rye. We're missing one in here. Couple in here. But like, for the most part, you guys get the point. There's there's a lot of potential in the future collection growth and like building building out your stuff. Also, people would much rather buy a binder that's already set up like this than have to embark on their own journey. You know, I think a lot of people do want to embark on their own journey. We got the Bolton V, Full Art, Chandler V. We got the Dancer. We got some Full Arts going on here. Um, we got uh, another Dancer Rainbow. We got the Flaffy Gold card, which I actually pulled this card. I was pretty hyped when I pulled this, even though the harsh reality is that, honestly, it's a super lame gold card. Uh, let's see if there's anything else. And I need to put some Fusion Strike artworks in this box. That's one thing I want to do with all these sets is I want to put the art, the pack artworks um, in all of them. So I'll do that on in another time. But um, whew, 35 minute video just talking about what is this? One, two, three, four, five, six binders. Oh, that's only six sets. And I have like six more that I need to cover ground on. Anyways, that's what I've been doing the past couple days. I've been working my butt off at the bar, completing sets, making deals, wheeling and dealing, doing, getting mail in. I still have to do a mail day video, which that might come up tonight as well. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you for the support. I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, peace. Oh, I'm parched. Need my pokey water. Peace out, y'all.